China's interest in the beautiful game has accelerated since this time last season with phenomenal salaries luring some of the world's footballers to a new career in the Far East. It could be argued that many of the players who've taken the Chinese cash are past their best. But could that change? If Diego Costa ends up in Shanghai or Beijing, then they have a player at the top of his game. It's also been a familiar story when we look at the nationalities heading east. But what chance an Englishman making the move? And what are the implications for the game here and elsewhere among the footballing establishment? Phil, it's got to be golden days for an agent, surely. Well, if you're actually one of the ones doing the deal, absolutely. But taking up the theme that you've talked about there, I think it's a timing issue as much as anything else. <clears throat> a lot of talk this weekend about Wayne Rooney. And actually, it might be the right time for him in many respects. If Manchester United are looking to replace him as such, and his England days are on the wane, um, excuse the pun, um, does he now go whilst he's still got a real value? Because leaving it one more year will probably mean that they won't want him. So such huge, vast amounts of, of cash to be, or, or money to be made over a contract like that. It may well be the right time for him. If we take the case of Wayne Rooney then, would it be cruel to say that that would suit United down to the ground? Well, we know he's one of the highest paid, if not the highest at United. Um, so they will want his off, his off their wage bill. And Wayne is a, you know, in a transition part of his career because, like Phil said, if you're not playing, Wayne's had a career of being in the side week in, week out over a number of years. And it's the first time he's found himself, and as an ex-player, being on the bench, not being involved, not starting as often as you like, you end up getting a bit disillusioned. Now, he's broke Bobby Charlton's record. He's beaten England's record as well with, with goals. So what is the next thing on the horizon for Wayne? And it is probably going to be leaving the football club. Where does he go? Is America, I would say, is a real big option for him. He's got three young boys. Would he want to take them to China? Hey, if the deal's put around and makes it, him excited and um, he's going there and he, he might be the benchmark for Chinese football yeah. where they take someone of the very highest calibre okay not in his twilight of his career but pretty close to it yeah we hear that Colleen has given him the go ahead to take the whole family there but it seems that money will determine whether China remains an attractive destination our man in Hong Kong is Christopher Atkins and he's taken a look at the players most likely to make the move east the emergence of the Chinese Super League as a major power in world football has surely been the story of this past transfer window. Oscar, Carlos Tevez and Axel Witzel are just three of the names to head east in the surge of riches over the past weeks and months. But who else can we expect to follow in the weeks before the transfer window slams shut at the end of February? One of the big names currently linked is Leicester City's Islam Slimani, who is reportedly a target for Fabio Cannavaro's Tianjin Tianjian side. Tianjin have already signed Alexandra Pato to boost their firepower up front, with Mitzel set to dominate the midfield. But they're looking for a target man, and Slimani fits the bill. Another big name Premier League striker who's been tipped for a move east is Wayne Rooney. However, despite Jose Mourinho's comments in his press conference this week, the Manchester United record goal scorer is unlikely to move this window, with no team currently looking for his style of player with the budget to make a move for one of the world's top earners. One of the most interesting transfers of the window could happen this week in the second division, where Shenzhen FC are linked with Colombia under-23 international Harold Preciado. The quick athletic striker has an eye for goal. He was top scorer in the 2015 season in Colombia. And with youth still on his side, this could be a really interesting move in terms of his long-term development. Good news for Preciado is he'll be joined by Chinedo Obasi, former Schalke player who was in at AIK in Sweden last season. Lightning fast, he's recovered from injuries to show signs of his old form. And if he can link with Preciado, there could be real goals in Sven Goran Eriksson's side. The final transfer we're going to look at is that of Davison. Alaves striker is linked with a 10 million euro move to China. Tall, mobile and decent outside the area, he's exactly what Chinese sides are looking for in their centre forwards. The only question is whether his asking price is going to put off the few suitors still in the market at the present time. There's just a few weeks to go and we'll find out soon who are the last few names heading to China for the 2017 season.